And this is Congressman Dan Goldman. What a guy, this guy. All right, so here he is. He's going to complain about the refs. So you notice how they all have different strategies, right? You have Pelosi saying, no, it's Trump. You have the New York Times trying to flatter Joe Biden out of the race. You have Bill Maher saying, it's over. <laughs> we need somebody else. Dan Goldman, he's going to attack the ref. So here he is calling out Anderson Cooper about CNN's failure to fact check Donald Trump. He is blatantly mischaracterizing the disaster that was his presidency. And that got a lot of attention and didn't get a lot of pushback. Mm -hmm. But let's have another debate where actually the moderators will push back on Donald Trump's lies. He intimidated your network, unfortunately, <laughs> and there was no pushback. He was given free reign to just lie as much as he wants. And that's not helpful to the American public either. Hey, how about having another debate where your candidate pushes back on the opponent's lies? Isn't that That would be an idea. Yeah. That would be an idea. Oh, yeah. oh, your uh your candidate is not up to his job. So now you're putting the job of the candidate on the moderators. <laughs> I it's I mean it's it's ridiculous and you know, we we talked about it earlier. Um they that really started with that Mitt Romney debate, right? I can't remember her name. It was Candy Crowley. Yeah, Candy Crowley. It was I forget the, what it the was, point was. I forget it, which thing Romney said that wasn't true. It was a major breach of the rules. Something about Benghazi, and, I think. Right, and now they expect moderators to play that role. That is not their job. That is the candidate's job. And because the media is so clearly partisan, any case that you could make for that being their job goes out the window because if you open that door they're only going to do it to trump they're not going to do it to biden not in real time cnn to their credit did run a fact check on biden would the moderators have done that to biden and and again okay so assume they were neutral and they did it to everybody do you really want a debate like that where the moderators are interjecting themselves that way? And especially when you're talking about politics, a lot of politics is subjective. Yes, numbers, there are certain things that are just unequivocally true, but there are a lot of things that are a matter of point of view. Do you really want moderators injecting themselves into a debate that way? What they did is how it should be. After Crowley did that, it opened the floodgates. Yes, you should go back to what they did. If your candidate can't handle the opponent, well, that's what the election process is for to show the public your candidate is not qualified. Of course, of course, your candidate. This is this is demo once again. This is the party of democracy. This is the party that claims oh, yeah. they mm -hmm. are the gatekeepers of democracy. They want to protect democracy. Here, the guy is blaming the refs for not taking his party's side so in right. a healthy democracy according to dan goldman the moderators are supposed to play favorites and call out the lies of the opposing party that duty does not fall to the candidate according to dan goldman that falls to the moderators is blatantly mischaracterizing the disaster that was his presidency and that got a lot of attention and didn't get a lot of pushback but let's have another debate. Didn't get a lot of pushback from Biden. Right. <laughs> like your candidate was there, was he not? Right. Was he not? Well, well, I mean, this is why they call it the call the manager party. Right. It's the first thing they think of. Yeah. The call the manager. The manager did not do our candidate's job for him. <laughs> right. Yeah, how dare they? How dare they? What did you think was going to happen? And uh, what you, if what... they did it fairly? Because yes. CNN showed all the lies Biden told. What if they yeah. did it that way? You think that fucking doddering space cadet could have handled that? Right. He yeah, couldn't exactly. handle Trump. What right. if he were getting fact-checked by the moderators in real time? You think you have a disaster on your hands now? <laughs> yeah. He might have fainted. Yeah, yeah, right. Might not have made it. Might not have made it through. That's a good point. Like, what if they were to do it fairly? If they were to do it fairly, yeah, he might not have made it through. Uh, but, of course, Dan Goldman didn't want them to do it fairly. He wanted them to do right. it in one direction. And not right. the other. Right. Yeah. He wanted he wanted them to act as agents for the Democratic Party, which, to be fair, he has every reason to expect that because that's what they generally do. Yes. Yes. And, you know, once that happens too many times, like, let's say that did happen. Let's say they did fact check Trump. 
first of all, that would not have played the way he thinks it would have played. People would have right. sensed that, that this was biased and that this right. was a hit job. Because the it would thing have played is, like hectoring one candidate. The, 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 bolt, like, the, the lies that Trump told were lies that I think are kind of so obvious and trivial that people right. don't really care. Like when most right. people hear everyone without exception wanted Roe v. Wade overturned, most people know e- that's even, not Even uh, I was on the phone with Gloria Steinem. And she said, please, (laughs) Donald, you have to get this overturned. It's terrible. When they hear him say that shit, when they hear him say the Pelosi January 6th thing, when they hear them say that Roe v. Wade allows women to have uh, abortions in the ninth month, I mean, most people just know that's not true. If it's so obvious that people know it's not true, then it doesn't really affect people. And this is something that the libs right. can't wrap their brain around. Like right. a lie so obvious. Like if I tell you, if I come out here on this show and I say that the sun revolves around the earth, what are you going to, oh, what? that is outrageous. No, you're going to say, all right, well, there's either a fucking idiot or a fucking bullshitter. Obviously, that's not true. Is that a more insidious lie than a lie that says, I don't know, we're going to pursue a public option and then not like a lie that's plausible. A lie that's plausibly true is more insidious than a lie that's just obviously not true. And right. the lies that Trump right. tells are just so big and fat and right. obvious. It doesn't really affect anybody. Like it really doesn't. And the liberals don't understand that. They think, wow, what a whopper. Isn't isn't this guy disqualified? Well, disqualified according to who? I mean, if people vote for him, people vote for him. That's democracy. That's populism, right? Right. Uh, right. So, you know, just that kind of fretting and sort of trying to blame the refs afterwards. No, no. You need a candidate that's up to it. If you don't have a candidate that's up to it, that's on you. That's on you. And the fact that they have been telling people for, I mean, not just one year. They've been telling this people this since 2019, right? And this rationalization, well, Biden beat Trump before. Yeah, he beat them when they, but the candidates were locked in their houses and they didn't have to campaign. If you didn't have a pandemic and it was just mano on mano on mano uh, in uh, for the last cycle, there's no way Biden would have won. Biden right. was not equipped to they, beat they Trump were in able, a campaign. They were able to last hide time. him. Yeah, they were they able to hide him. Campaign last time. Well, well, this is the running theme with the Democrats. I mean, building on the uh, call the manager party. That's what they do with everything. They want to be able to contact tech companies to right. get them to take down your speech. They want to heavily regulate what people are allowed to say because they don't like what they say. Um, They don't like the people are protesting Israel. So now they want to stop using. uh, That's a story we might do during the week. They want to stop using the Gaza health ministry numbers. Um, It's it's always call the manager. It's always call the manager. It's they fundamentally don't believe in democracy. They are a party with an inherently, at this point, they are a party with an inherently elitist perspective. And if you have an elitist perspective, you're always going to hate democratic processes because that's the hoi polloi. Those are the peasants. Those are the ignorant people. You need to leave it to a cadre of your betters to run things. It's that they are the party of Davos. Yes, absolutely. Please clap.